Shalom from the National Council of Young Israel here at our headquarters in Paramus, New Jersey. We are happy to launch our newest program under the guidance of our new board of directors called Four Minutes of Torah. Each and every week, you'll be introduced to a new Rav within the Young Israel movement who will share with you words of Torah. With that very happy introduction, let us begin. Hello everyone, my name is David Hellman and I'm the rabbi at our wonderful show, The Young Israel of Brookline in Brookline, Massachusetts. It is my great honor to be kicking off this new wonderful initiative in which rabbis of different Young Israel shows will be sharing the Torah to be sent out every week uh, to all Young Israel shows across the country and across the world. Uh, thank you to the leadership at the National Council for thinking of this idea and making it happen. And we look forward to more collaborative projects. And now I'd like to share with you a brief thought as we look forward to Shavuos. When Moshe presented the Torah to the Jewish people at Har Sinai and asked them if they wanted to accept it or not, they of course responded with the two great eternal words, Nasa Vinishma, we will do and we will listen. And there are many interpretations as to why that double phrase was necessary, what it means, the importance of the sequence. However, several of our greatest commentaries in the Chumash the Rashbam, the Chizkuni, the Ibn Ezra, all say more or less the same thing. And they say that the Jewish people were declaring, Nasa, we will do everything that you have told us up until this point, Moshe. Vinishma, and we further commit to further listen and hear and accept all future commandments. The words of the Rashbam, Nasa, Masha, Diber, we will do what God has already spoken. Vinishma, Mashit Sivanu Od, and we will listen, we will accept what he will command us further. The people understood that they did not yet receive the full package. They were not yet taught all 630 mitzvot. And so they were saying, we are committing to the present, that which we see in front of us, and we will commit to the future mitzvot if God wishes to command us further. So Nasa Vanishma was a commitment to the present and a commitment to the future. However, any true commitment to the Torah must be a commitment to the future, not just because the Jews at that time did not yet know all the mitzvot. Even if they knew all of the mitzvot, even if they knew all the laws of Shabbos and all of the mitzvot, they could not yet commit to specifically how they would fulfill those mitzvot in every situation because they didn't know what life would bring. They didn't know the distant future of electricity and modern technology. They didn't know in their personal lives where they would be placed or what situations they would face. And so they could only commit to the present. I would commit to fulfill the mitzvot as I understand them based on the situations that I see before me. And I commit to the future to how those mitzvahs will apply. I will do my best to apply those mitzvahs to new situations that I have not yet faced. If there's one thing we've learned over the past year and a half, is that we do not know what the future has in store for us. But we do know is that whatever the future will be, good or bad, the Torah provides a map, a blueprint for it. And we commit to Nasa Vinishma, to lead to our lives and to apply the Torah and its mitzvahs as best as we can to the future. However, a Torah commitment, Nasa Vinishma, is a commitment to the future, not just because we do not yet know future situations. We also don't yet know who we will be. We as humans, as Jews, as servants of Hashem, we grow with age, with knowledge, with experience, with maturity. And the way in totality that I serve Hashem and lead a Torah life today should not be the same way I will serve Hashem and lead a Torah life in totality in a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. I'll be in a different life position. I will know more, more knowledge, have more experience, and I will serve Hashem in hopefully a greater, broader, deeper way. And so the great slogan of Nasa Vinishma, which is the commitment of every Jew, is a commitment to the present, where I am, where the world is, and it's a commitment to see the Torah as a map for the path of life. It is a commitment to grow with the Torah into the future. May we all be amongst those who wear the crowns of those who merit to declare Nasa Vinishma now into the future. May we be Jews that grow in our service of Hashem and our connection uh, to the Torah and to Hashem. May we be blessed in such a way ourselves as individuals, our families, our local communities, and we say Nasa Vinishma in plural all together with our shared young Israel shuls. I wish everyone a good yantiv and a chag sameach.